Okay, so what we've got here, we want to start putting our triclaps in and putting them in place, forming that center hall to mount them. So we're going to center punch it first, establish a divot. We've got a uh, one eighth inch drill bit just to start things off. And the hand drill. We're going to move that up. I'm going to do a quarter inch. Okay, now we need to enlarge it large enough to get in our uh, air powered nibbler. So we're going to use a step drill bit. This is an easy way to do it, uh, and low cost way to get the job done. It's only really suitable for sheet metal, but you'll see that we've got a hole large enough that we can start the bit in there. And so you get a fairly clean hole. I mean, if we could accommodate something of that size, it'd be all right. But since we need bigger, one and a half, and then uh, two inch over here, and a half, one and a half inch here, we've got another one and a half inch port over there. We're going to have to enlarge it further, and that's where the air nibbler comes in. We've already marked the interior dimension of that one and a half inch tri clamp with. Uh, there goes the air compressor. So what we're going to do now is use our air nibbler to heat out the material inside of this uh, Sharpie marker set. <laughs> you can see what you get. Basically it nibbles out a semicircular shape, right? I'll take a whole line and show you what we get. There you go. So we're going to finish this off. We're going to etch, go all the way around, clean it up, and then we're going to take our tri-clamp and we're going to clamp it on here. So we've got our pieces of uh, plywood right here, 3 8 inch bolt hole through. We're going to mount one on top, put the bolt through as we have here, and then on the inside we're going to put another piece and the bolt, tighten it up, or the nut, tighten it up. We've got something like we have here. And that will hold it firmly to the conical. We'll tighten it up, and then we'll be ready for uh, going out and doing some more welding with uh, Henrob Torch.